from victim to suspect. Jussie Smollett released from jail after coughing up bail money to the tune of $10,000. The actor was charged for allegedly masterminding a staged assault on the streets of Chicago. After an investigation spanning weeks, Chicago police slammed the actor for dragging the city's reputation through the mud. I'm left hanging my head and asking why. Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? How could someone look at the hatred and suffering associated with that symbol and see an opportunity to manipulate that symbol to further his own public profile? Smollett reported he was attacked by two masked men at the end of January. On the Chicago street, he said they beat him, tied a noose around his neck and referenced Donald Trump's catchphrase, make America great again. Police now say Smollett hired the two men to fake the attack because he was unhappy with his salary on the TV show Empire. The two Nigerian brothers were extras on the show. After the brothers were taken into custody as suspects, they reportedly admitted they were paid $3,500 to stage the assault. Smollett, who is openly gay, received an outpouring of support when the story broke. Democratic candidates called it a modern-day lynching, while President Trump said it was horrible. After Thursday's news, the US president weighed in again, slamming Smollett as racist himself. While the actor's lawyers insist their client is entitled to the presumption of innocence, rights groups and supporters have distanced themselves from Smollett, saying the damage done by false claims could take an age to repair.